Hey everyone, I'm Tim Moore with Ferrano, and today I'm going to provide you with a first look at one of the many new features found in the newest TZ Touch 3 software, Update version 3.01. Let's take a look at what Ferrano's TZ T3 Chirp side scan technology can do for you. If you're unfamiliar with side scan technology, let's talk about what it can do for you. It can improve fishing, diving, structure searching, and navigation by allowing you to see clearly defined targets off both sides of your vessel. But one of the things that separates Faruno's new Chirp side scan from others on the market is that even if you're in extremely shallow water, Faruno's side scan technology will allow you to see targets much further off to each side of your vessel than conventional side scan units can today. And we'll talk more about that later in the video. Keep in mind that the TZT3 Chirp side scan is not limited to a specific type or size of vessel. Furner's Chirp Side Scan technology will easily work for your application, whether you're looking to improve your fishing methods, looking for more detailed bottom information for general navigation while cruising, or even searching for the perfect sweet spot to go diving. Now that we know what Side Scan is and can be used for, let me show you a few screen captures of the amazing detail you can expect to see. Here in just 16 feet of water, we are seeing amazing detail of this artificial reef. In addition to structure, we can also show fish targets as seen here, 60 to 100 feet off of our port side. Here's another shot from in Florida recently in about 35 feet of water showing four nice large fish targets. Here you can see bait balls and a predator fish going after them with a bridge support off to our starboard side. And the great thing is this screen is interactive. By simply tapping on the target, you can quickly get range information or even drop a new point to return to later. You'll see other man-made structures as well. Check out the detail here of bridge piles and supports. Or here, you can see the hulls of boats that were moored up as we passed through our marina. And finally, here in the Chesapeake Bay, we have areas of ghost crab pots that you'll want to steer clear of, especially when you're in water this shallow. As you can see, the chirp side scan is showing them 200 to 500 feet away from our vessel, which is simply amazing if you think about it. So let's talk about some of the features Furuno's chirp side scan technology has to offer. Furuno has specifically chosen a chirp side scan frequency of 220 to 240 kilohertz. This chirp frequency range allows for some really great features to help Furuno Chirp side scan users get the most out of their fish finder. This includes excellent shallow water performance as well as great target clarity as seen here on my TZT12F. It also offers the ability to see targets at a very long range off each side of your vessel. As you can see here on my TZT19F, we can see a great example of some long range targets. You can easily expect to see 600 feet off both sides of your vessel. This gives you the opportunity to quickly locate structure and position your boat where the fish are hiding so you can cast right to them. Fruner's Chirp Side Scan even offers the ability to see fish marks in the water column without the need to look for shadows. And Furuno has made getting set up as simple as possible for you. All you need to do to make Furuno's Chirp Side Scan work is simply plug in your Chirp Side Scan transducer into your compatible TZ Touch 3 MFD, remember with version 3.01 software, and it will set itself up automatically for you by using the transducer's TID information. Once you plug in the transducer and go to your home page, you'll see a new blue side scan icon that you can set the full, half, or quarter page on any personalized screen you choose. It doesn't really get any easier than that. Once you're all set up, the ease of use is everything you'd expect from Furuno's TZT3. A quick swipe up from the bottom gives you instant access to the four echo colors, gain, clutter, and auto range. This fast menu access allows you to make instant changes on the fly as needed without digging through endless menus. So what do we need to get started using SideScan? To get started, you'll need a Furuno TZT12F, TZT16F, or TZT19F MFD updated to version 3.01 software with an open transducer port to allow you to add one of our new SideScan transducers. If you have a single TZT12F, 16F, or 19F, you can choose between directly connecting a down sounding transducer or chirp side scan transducer to the single 12 pin fish finder port on the back. For vessels having two or more TZT3 MFDs on board, you can easily set yourself up with the best of everything. Run one TZT3 MFD fish finder on chirp or dual frequency 5200 kilohertz and the other TZT3 MFD on chirp side scan. Doing this will allow you to have access to both side scan and traditional fish finding that will be available on your entire TZT3 network. And just to note, while the TZT9F and TZT2BB cannot connect directly to a side scan transducer, you can still view and control the side scan page from either of these units by having your TZT9F or TZT2BB on the same network as your Chirp side scan enabled TZT3. As soon as you have a working side scan TZT3 MFD, all other TZT3s and TZT2BBs on your network 
will automatically populate with side scan information. You can even add a DFF 3D black box multi-beam sonar to your network and share all the benefits of 3D history, cross-section, triple beam, and even PBG data across your entire network. If you do this, you can set your TZT3 MFDs up to show the DFF 3D, side scan, and chirp fish finder all on one page. Keep in mind though, that the PBG feature is only available when using the DFF 3D multi-beam sonar. To finish your setup, you know what comes next. Let's talk about transducers. Furuno is offering three options for the TZT3 side scan transducers. We have a single stainless through hull side scan transducer for those who have a flat spot on their vessel that wouldn't be blocked by the keel. Remember, for side scan to work effectively, it needs to clearly see off both sides of your boat with no blockage. This single side scan through hull deucer does not come with a fairing block, so please make sure you mount it on a flat spot on your hull. This transducer has a part number of 225T SS904. For those of you who have a keel or any other obstruction you need to avoid that might block the side scan signal, Fruno will also be offering a pair of side scan transducers. This allows you to put one transducer on each side of your vessel, and this ensures you won't have any keel blockage and you'll get nice clear side scan returns from both sides of your vessel. The pair of transducers will need to have fairing blocks installed that are cut to the dead rise of your vessel. The part number for the pair transducers is going to be 225T PR904. Furuna will also have a transom mount version for those needing a side scan transducer, but in a transom mount application. This transducer is going to have a part number of 225T TM904. Just so you know, all three transducers come with a 40 foot cable attached, but if that doesn't happen to be long enough for your specific installation, extension cables will be available. And just so everyone knows, the 225T PR904 pair transducers and the 225T TM904 transom mount transducers are expected to be available later this year. One of the questions we've already been getting is from people who already have a DFF 3D multi-beam sonar on board or plan to get one. The question is, do they really need to have both the TZT3 chirp side scan and a DFF 3D? Really, the answer depends on what your plans are as these units differ in their operations. If you're someone who likes to head out early and fish deep waters off the coast, and then maybe come back later in the day and fish the shallow waters, having both units is exactly what you want on board. Both units together give you the ultimate fishing platform. The DFF 3D multi-beam sonar uses a fixed frequency of 165 kilohertz, has 800 watts of output power, and eight elements, which allow you to see a 120 degree swath in and around your vessel in depths of up to 1,000 feet deep and 600 feet off to each side. But all that power can be a bit much in shallow water. This is where the TZT3 chirp side scan shines. Tested in depths as shallow as two feet and out past 650 feet off to each side of your vessel, the TZT3 chirp side scan is what you want for inshore fishing, searching for structure, and even navigating shallow water areas. Having both the DFF3D multi-beam sonar and TZT3 chirp side scan on board gives you everything you need to take your fishing to the next level. Another popular question that has come up is how will I see fish marks on Furuner's TZT3 chirp side scan? I can tell you from my own personal experience using this feature that you will see fish as actual fish marks. While other units on the market base their returns off of fish shadows, the Furuno TZT3 chirp side scan will show actual fish targets rather than just shadows, and that means no steep learning curve to begin using this awesome new feature. Now that we discussed the setup and use of the TZT3 Chirp side scan feature found in version 3.01 software, I hope I've covered everything you needed to know. Remember, getting started is really easy. All you need is a TZT12F, TZT16F, or TZT19F with version 3.01 software and a Furuno Chirp side scan transducer to get started seeing around your boat in ways you've never seen before. If you have any other questions about Furuno's TZT3 Chirp side scan feature or any other Furuno product, Please contact your local Furuno dealer or visit us at www.furuno.com. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the water.